Oh, it's kind of our talk about what's going on with my endometriosis. Um, I hate having it. I'm not going to hold y'all. I've been dealing with this for the past four years. Um, and being diagnosed does not make it any easier for me at this point because they put me on medication and they gave me the Lupron shot. And it's supposed to stop with the stop the pain and everything but it seems like it's making it worse and I uh, found out today that one of my aunts on my dad's side had fibroids so I didn't know if I had it in my family like fibroids endometriosis um, any kind of women problems because all my mom's side is like perfectly healthy in that area they all are very fertile they have several children um, they never had issues with their periods, nothing. Um, and I was talking to the aunt that had her fibroids removed, 20, but she said about 20 years ago. Um, and she literally had the same symptoms that I'm having right now. My face is breaking out because I believe it's because I ate some cake and stuff today. And then I washed my face with this oil so my face always just breaks the fuck out but anyway and that's the other thing too my face is breaking out so bad on this medication <sighs> i don't know and then i'm just always fucking exhausted bro like i'm exhausted all the time uh, i have trouble sleeping i have to sit on a heating pad the majority of the day when i'm sitting down just to try to help release some uncomfortability um I'm just trying so hard right now, y'all. Like, this endometriosis is draining me. It's literally draining my body, and I'm tired. And I can't get in before the 13th of December. <sighs> and I'm, like, so frustrated with just having to keep going through this, you know? I just, I just want to be done with it. I'm tired of taking medications. I'm tired of getting shots. I'm tired of them telling me, oh, just see, just see, just see. And I feel like it's easier as a doctor to tell a patient to just wait it out when you're not going through the process, you know. But, you know, if anybody else is going, I know there's a couple people who commented on the last video, but I wish you guys didn't relate, honestly. Like, I would never wish this on anybody. I really wouldn't. This shit is awful. I wish you guys couldn't relate, for real, for real, like, and I'm sorry y'all are going through it as well, um, because a couple of you guys said you were going through similar situations, but I'm just sorry you guys are going through that too, but I really wouldn't wish this shit on, like, somebody I hate it, you know what I'm saying, so, but anyway, just pray for me, you guys, keep me here positive energy i've been trying to be positive about it but it's really taking a toll on me it's taking a toll so uh, i'll keep you guys updated so basically i'm getting ready to go to this funeral with my family for our family friend and paris is laying all over my coat it's raining outside <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand her. Now, I remind you, this whole time she's been on the floor. On the floor while I've been doing my makeup, getting dressed, everything. The moment I go to turn around and put on my coat, guess what? L Linda. Girl, you got to move. So, hey, you guys. I am, I hope I'm not blocking the mic. And, of course, I was a little bit. Um, But... I'm actually um, about to go to a friend of the family's funeral today. Um, his name is Mr. Douglas. I've known him since I was a little girl. Um, my parents have known him a long time, obviously. Um, he was in his late 80s. He was like 87, 89, 87 or 88, I'm sorry. Um, but <clears throat> today it's been raining all weekend and it's like almost fitting that it's raining right now. Um, and it's like really dark outside. My mom's really been taking it hard because him and her were really cool, like and close and stuff. Like, um, of course he was like cool, both of my parents, obviously, but, um, 
like she just she just really loved him she just you know looked at him like an uncle i think more than anything like he was just cool as hell like he was super chill he was down to earth um so we're gonna miss him definitely um but uh i hope everybody is doing well um it's that time of year where, where like there's a lot of seasonal depression and stuff going around so um i'm really hoping everybody's doing okay you know so um but yeah i just wanted to stop by super quick and um let you guys know what was going on um i obviously will not be i don't i don't know if i'll film the funeral like i did for my missionary funeral um but i felt like more a part of the family if that makes sense in the missionary funeral because i had known her since i was like three um but i didn't like if you guys ever watched that vlog i never filmed her body or anything like that i wouldn't go that far um i'm not gonna view the body um i haven't viewed body a body since my grandmother's funeral and i just can't handle it so that's the part of the funeral i always be like all right i'm gonna head out you know um and i just sit there or i go outside you know either way but uh yeah you guys so sending positive energy to everybody um especially during this time of year it's really really rough on a lot of people so i hope you're doing well and i'm sending you guys lots and lots of positive energy and i'll talk to you guys later from your eyelids rainbows around your brow thunder clouds at your fingertips as the world plays out loud you grabbed your suitcase and joined a new rank of friends some so enchanted they knew it was not our time to join in. We will miss you dearly. We didn't get to say goodbye, though our hearts and our eyes are sobbing dry. The days before are etched in our brains of good times and enjoyment of a family, a friend. You were like a walk from heaven and now has his key. We will see you one day in our walk from heaven with our family, a friend. The Benson family. We sweet and short um to also end this vlog as well <laughs> um hi mike um it was so nice uh, mr douglas has always been a sweet soul but to hear his family members his children his grandchildren um extended family just come and say how, how many nice things about him you can't even imagine but um he was also a decorated soldier he served in the army he worked for three or four presidents, I believe. So he did a lot with his life and he uh, was actually 80 years old, 90 years old, I'm sorry. And um, he lived a long life and he lived a great life and a very loved life. He did a lot of amazing things with his life. He did all kind of art, he, he made wine, he wrote books, he helped with taxes, he helped you know, his family, his granddaughter, he fed the homeless, he just had a lot of life he lived and i'm so happy that i got to at least meet him and be around him for a little bit of it you know not as much as his grandchildren of course but that's one thing i always did say that if i ever had a chance to have a grandfather it would be mr douglas so once again condolences to his family and all his loved ones and also to his family.